Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to this tutorial on Chris X 3D Viewer. So, Chris X 3D Viewer is a visualizing and modeling software for crystal structures or molecules. So, it is useful for computational condensed matter physicists or computational chemists. So, especially to model supercells, quantum dots, or even monolayers. So, monolayer feature is not available right now, but it will soon be available. So, Let's go ahead into the tutorial and see how this stuff works. So you can download ChrisX from my blog that is bragadoff.com and then head over to ChrisX section here and click on ChrisX 3D Viewer which will take you to this URL. So the link to this URL is attached in the description down below. So when you come to this link then you can go to the download versions. So if you have an Android device then you can go to the Play Store or if you have a Windows device then you can click on this to download a zip file that would contain the software. So as you can see, the download of the zip file has already begun. So the file is around 15 MBs for Windows and around 24 MBs for Android. So here is the Google Play Store page. And the software looks pretty much the, exactly the same on the Windows as well as Android. So even if this tutorial is for Windows device, you could easily uh, use it to follow the how to you know work with the app on an Android device and even in future when the app comes to the Mac OS iOS or even Linux devices then also similar steps could be followed so just wait for the download to complete so we have like 12 MBs already done here however I have already downloaded the file here and extracted the contents however I just for the sake of the completeness I'll just go along and wait for the download to complete okay so the download is now complete so you can click on show in folder copy it and just paste it on your desktop or anywhere you would like so here is the you know the winzip file containing the software so all you need to do is you need to right click on it and extract it so when you extract it so i have already extracted it so it says if you want to replace it so I won't extract it again so just go ahead and double click on the software and then find the application called ChrisX 3D Viewer and just double click on it to open it. So when you open it it will probably ask you about what resolution you want it to be and whether you want it to be full screen or windowed. So you can choose either windowed mode or a full screen mode however I will just pretty much choose the full screen mode as well as you can choose the graphics quality. So if you have even a remotely good laptop like um, an i7, i5 with a graphics card then you can probably go to Ultra High World on this laptop that I have right here. It is a pretty old laptop so I'll just stick to medium settings and then you can click on play. So here you have the first look of the app. So when you open the app it prompts you that you can click on the folder icon in the upper left corner to open a CIF or XYZ file. So CIF files are basically useful for crystallographers so they contain crystallographic information hence the name crystallographic information file or you can download or open an xyz file which contains basically the cartesian coordinates of the molecules so of the atoms in a molecule sorry so you can either open these types of files so if you are a computational physicist or a computational chemist then you probably are familiar with these formats however if you don't have such a file on your laptop or a pc or android phone because you aren't you know researching in this area then you will probably wonder where you can find CIF and XYZ files so you can just go in into tools and then click on download samples so when you click on download samples it will open your default browser and begin the download process of the some of the sample files that are being included with the software so as you can see the download was pretty quick as the file is pretty almost like uh, 800 kbs or something so you, you can just go ahead and click on view downloads um, so here it is so I had already downloaded before so go to downloads and find the file called mall files and again go to desktop okay so go to desktop and paste it right here so I have already pasted this file right here so again this is a zip file which you can extract use the same extract here option and then you will open it and you will find there are two folders called SIF and XYZ. So these files would be useful to you if you are a high school student or in college and are not very familiar with these uh, file formats. So we are providing 
or rather I am providing these files along with the software which you can access by clicking the download button. However, if you are a Windows user and you have downloaded a Windows package, then you will also get these files, you know, in this folder. So this is a older version of the software so you won't find that here however if I had the newer version of the software then there will be a folder called mall files similar to this that would contain SIF and XYZ files alright so coming back to the software so till now you have performed two steps you have downloaded the uh, application and run it and you have also downloaded the sample download files now how are you going to open them so just click on this folder icon and it can support either SIF or XYZ files as you can see right here and just go ahead and find wherever you downloaded those files too so just go ahead and click on mall files and let's just begin with opening some crystals so uh, if you want you can open um, let's say carbide so silicon carbide so just double click on it and here you have silicon carbide so you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in or out you can use these buttons to move this crystal around up or down right or left you can use the zoom in zoom out buttons right here or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the crystal around and you can use the mouse left click button to just drag or rotate the molecule on your screen and here also you will find the information that was read from the crystallographic information file or the XYZ file so it will tell you the space group, the lattice parameters, the alpha, beta, gamma, Bravais lattice type and all those stuff so you will find the cardiation coordinates, crystal coordinates and you will also find how much time it took to read it so on as I mentioned earlier this laptop is not very good so it will probably take uh, 5 seconds on slow PCs to read a crystallographic information file However, uh, um, on a faster PC, it hardly takes like 0.5 seconds, uh, which is my main laptop on which I developed the application. So that is an i7 with a decent graphics card. And that is like a five-year-old laptop. So if that can load in 0.5 seconds, and if you have a newer laptop, then you can also load it pretty quickly. So now coming uh, to the molecules. So you can even, um, you know, just click back and come to the XYZ molecules so here you can search for molecules like glucose um, and then double click to open those and then just rotate them around zoom in or out and all that stuff and then you can even search for any other molecule like benzene so we have provided um, something around 500 molecules as well as 500 crystallographic information files so just open benzene then you can click on tools button and turn spin so you have it spinning and a lot of features on the apps are directed towards those uh, computational conditions metaphysics so if you are a high school student or a graduate student then you probably won't need those but there are options to create a super cell phone dot monolayer and those will be covered in the future tutorials and for now I'll also let you know that you can measure bond angles and bond lengths by clicking on the selection tool right here and selecting two atoms for bond length so once you select two atoms just click on this ruler icon and it will give you the bond length of these two atoms so it is 1.38 angstroms and then if you these you can just click on them again to deselect the atom and then if you select three atoms then like this then you can measure the angles that is the bond angle so here you can see that the bond angle um, I didn't click on it I think so here okay so the bond angle is basically between 932 is 120 degrees so I think that is right for benzene so if you select these three you should get 120 degrees again okay so 119 so yeah 120 degrees or something like that so you can deselect them back again and then you can even take screenshots by clicking on this icon and it will store in your um, documents under the folder called Prezex Screen Graphs. So here you can see that. So here is the screenshot that we just took. And also if you notice then the screenshot will probably start stretching and getting pixelated when you zoom in. So the 
alternate it to that if you want to include those these pictures in your scientific publications or thesis or presentations then what you can do is you can click on export and click on high resolution pngs so it will take some time but it will generate a pretty uh, high resolution image so if you come back to your screen grabs and this is the newer one i think um, so just go ahead and click on open uh, no so this is the new one because it is larger in size so now if you open it and just begin zooming in uh, then you can see that it is not getting pixelated or stretching at all compared to the previous one so here is the previous one and if you zoom in a little bit so here is the different comparisons of the uh, high resolution versus the lower resolution one So as you can see the lower resolution one doesn't look very good in, in a publication so that is the application and i'll be making a few more tutorials explaining how to work and visualize status planes vector arrows create bonds molecules etc so i'll be making a few more tutorials explaining all these features and if you have any doubts or need any help then you can click on help and go to youtube tutorials or about section or the documentation section and you can even leave a comment down in the um, comment section in, the, in this video and I'll be happy to help you out. So this is a pretty much uh, a very early stage for the software. So uh, there are a lot of things to be done and improved as we go along the way. I hope you guys enjoy the software and like it and thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.